I'm Doug Boyd, director of the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History at the University of Kentucky Libraries. We've developed a free and open source system called OHMS, the Oral History Metadata Synchronizer, for enhancing access to oral histories online. The OHMS concept is simple. OHMS enhances the online experience for users of your oral history collection. OHMS is not a repository, it just makes your repository better. If you're thinking about putting your collections online, you probably have a content management system, or CMS, for managing your online system. Now this can include something fancy that you built yourself, a commercial product like ContentDM, a free open source product like Omeka, or even a free system like WordPress or Drupal. In order to use OMS, you need a few things. An oral history interview. You need to put that interview online somewhere you can link to. You need access to the OMS application, a web-based tool where you index an interview or synchronize the transcript, getting it ready for access. Then you need to install the OMS viewer on a server. The OMS viewer can be installed on a pretty basic web server. We've tested it out extensively on a very low-end commercial web host, and it works flawlessly. Once you've completed working with an interview in the OMS application, you export a simple XML file and place it on the server where you installed the OMS viewer. Then, you simply link to that XML file from your content management system, and voila, your users get to engage with the interview using the OMS system. OMS is built using open source technologies. It does require a website, the space and ability to install the OMS viewer, and then a little time working with the interviews. But beyond that, you should be all ready to go. Enjoy working with OMS, and good luck with your oral history project. <laughs> Thank you.